It has begun. War is coming. So why are you here? To save our people. We must fight together. Can we trust him? They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. Are you sure about that? We'll protect the kingdom. You and I. We will try, my friend. Warcraft, rated PG-13. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. New Warcraft trailer, so let's break it down, then we can have our survivor support group for PTSD from Warcraft addiction. One of the things I really love about this Warcraft movie isn't, isn't that it's gonna be a lot of fun, because it will, is all the Warcraft stories that everyone's gonna tell in the comments and then waiting in line standing in the theater. I used to play Vanilla, Full Blown Addiction by Burning Crusade. Lost one of my best girlfriends to Lich King. So some of this footage is repeated from the last trailer, but we have learned a couple new things. Like this body here seems like it's Lane Wren. You see his wife Lady Teria here addressing the crowd. You see his son Varian standing over here. No confirmation on this yet, but it does seem like the Burning Legion plays a role in the need for the orcs to team up with the humans. Like you have Durotan who wants his people to survive, so he makes this pact with Lothar, but on both sides, on both humans and orcs, there are people that really don't want this. Like Orgrim seems like he's going to be something of the antagonist orc, and then you have Ryan Robbins' character, who you might remember from Arrow this season, playing Karos. He's kind of like, F the orcs, who cares, who gives a crap about him? But obviously, if the Burning Legion takes down the orcs, Azeroth is next. We get to see a lot of familiar places, like Dalaran, Karazhan. Now, both Medivh and Khadgar are in the movie. Khadgar is Medivh's apprentice. We don't really know what's going on with the portal, but, but obviously they have sequel movies planned depending on the success of the first movie. As far as we know, there's no Draenei in the movie. So I, I'm not really sure what they're going to do with the Garona character. Because in the game, she's secretly half Draenei, half orc. But in the movie, they might be presenting her as half human. Then they might introduce the twist like, oh no, you're half Draenei, you're not half human. And then spin that out into the sequel. Stormwind, of course, human capital. Right now, I would say like the thing that I find most interesting is, is what's going on with the Council of Mages, especially in Dalaran. Like, what is their role in this movie? Because they're kind of like this third party that literally exists above humanity. One of the few really big things that's been missing from the last couple of trailers is, is a lot of Gul'dan. He's probably going to be the one in the movie that's responsible for opening the portal. One of the fun twists of the game, and I think they'll probably incorporate this into the movie, is that Gul'dan tricks the orcs into invading Azeroth because it's like, Dra Draenor's dying, we need to invade Azeroth so that we can have this new place to live. But really, he tricks them into working for the Burning Legion, tricks them into drinking demon blood, and then they become the green orcs. Drinking demon blood is what turns them green, which is kind of why I'm wondering what's going on with Thrall here, who is Durotan's son. Durotan and his wife seem like they have not drunk demon blood, like they, they haven't turned green or anything like that. So why is Thrall green? Well, we'll have to find out. There might be some movie trickery at play here. This big scene here though, with Lothar riding on the back of the griffin, he's flying towards the dark portal. It seems like it's going to be the big final battle of the film. I'm expecting what it, whatever ends up happening after this battle to kind of throw into whatever the sequel might end up being, like wherever they might end up going right after this. My guess is if the Burning Legion is going to be the true antagonist of the film, then they would push deeper into that lore for the second movie. But you guys can let me know, like, where do you want them to go with the sequel if it ends up happening? And I think it will. It's just a question of when it's going to happen. So much of this movie is CG, which is why I think it took Blizzard so long in the first place to find a, a team to make it with them. But it also means the sequel could take up to like three years. But, but I think if it makes enough money, then they can fast track it. But in related news, congratulations to the giveaway winner. If you guys didn't know, I'm, I'm giving away an epic mount. Congratulations to Tesla Effect. You win a gift certificate for an epic mount. If you don't play WoW, you still get a gift certificate. You can use it for whatever you want. Just be sure to private message me on the back end of my channel. If you guys want, I'll continue to do a Warcraft giveaway. So new giveaway starts now. We'll just call it a Blizzard giveaway because a lot of you might not be playing Warcraft right now, but you're playing another Blizzard game. So all you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. I'll just announce the winner whenever I do my next Warcraft video. Because the movie is coming in June, we're probably going to start seeing a lot more stuff from this film. So I'll start ramping up my Warcraft videos. I do have some new Deadpool footage to post. He's trying to offend as many people around the world as possible, and it is amazing. So that'll be my next video. While you guys wait for that to post, in case you haven't seen it, you can click here for my last Deadpool video. He, just, he makes fun of Wolverine. It's the most amazing thing ever. And you can click here for my Suicide Squad trailer video that I just posted. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.